I'm here with another speaker, or actually, to be more precise, with speakers uh, from the Objective Cologne, because this is the first time we do it. We will be three in this uh, uh, little interview. I have uh, two uh, speakers that will uh, uh, do a talk uh, with us in September. So, first of all, guys, who are you? We are WorkCrafts, and uh, I am Oli. I'm Felix. Thanks for having us. We are a localization company for uh, Mac OS and uh, iOS applications and we started the business in 2009 and since then we've been localizing and translation, translating uh, applications uh, of all types and uh, app store texts and all this stuff basically helping developers to uh, get successful uh, throughout the world and, and that's mainly the reason why I ask you guys to come speak about localization because there might be some other localization companies outside in the world but you guys are totally into um, uh, Coco so iOS and, and, and macOS if I understand it right exactly yeah so you know this stuff um, so uh, we met probably I guess at uh, Macoon or some other conferences so we kept in touch and uh, when I was putting the conference together uh, I didn't want to have only developers uh, uh, actually to, to give a little insight I, I really wanted to have a, a talk about design from a designer it didn't really work out this first year maybe next year uh, mm -hmm. and I asked you to come over to speak at the conference so the ver the the, the the question I usually ask to everybody else is why why did you accept at all to come over speak over at uh, in Cologne? First of all, um, we love the idea of conferences and uh, we love the idea of uh, the community coming together and uh, exchanging their experiences, their exp expertise, and uh, having a nice chat together uh, and all this stuff. So uh, we we always support these kind of types of conferences. Um, but basically, um, why we uh, accepted to, to join the uh, Objective Cologne and uh, to uh, speak in front of the audience is um, basically we've been dealing with many developers over the last three years now um, who really wanted to have uh, their apps localized into various languages. And we've encountered several problems uh, we think are not necessary. Um, so, um, well, basically, we, we want to show all the developers uh, what they could do, what we could do, how to, to improve uh, localization workflow and all this kind of stuff. So, um, these, these are the, the, the two issues we, we, we really love to, to join the Objective Cologne. First of all, um, being in a community, talking about uh, um, related stuff, uh, meeting new people, having nice chats and... Uh, um, that's that's what we love, really. Cool. The the way I, I put it a lot of time, and you, correct me if I'm wrong, but is uh, 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 your talk and and um, and I think Felix will tell us a, a little bit more about the talk in a, in a minute. Will be about trying trying to uh, um, gap the bridges that are sometime between developers and localizers. I guess we lose a lot of time, a lot of uh, 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 sometimes because we as a developer. Um, don't know how to uh, make localization better um, in general and for you. Yeah, that's right. Um, um, as Oliver stated, um, why we love to go to conferences is to actually speak to people. Um, we have a lot of information on our, on our website, but um, in our experience that stuff is read uh, at, a, at a too late stage. Um, what we will be talking about is um, how to implement the localization um, process into the um, application development cycle and in the business development cycle because in our experience people tend to postpone localization or see localization as a as a very last step um, very short very short to the release date but actually localization uh, takes time and uh, you have to account for for the time if you want quality work. And in general, if you if you think about localization, you should, um, as it is with everything, do it right or or don't do it. So um, by simply um, looking at, at 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 some very minor and or 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 smaller things uh, during the development, you can ease the the localization process um, by by a huge amount. 
So what we always offer um, to developers is just to just to send resources at a very 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 early stage so that that we can identify problems or or possible problems which may come up which could be solved right from the beginning of the development or um, in, in the application design. So what we will do is have a, um, an overview of typical things to avoid during the application development to, to make localization easier or even possible and um, to get people away from the thinking that, that um, localization is very, very costly or it's very complicated or um, yeah, that kind of stuff. Just to just to sum up some some very basic information, um, w which is very valuable to to make localization easier and and less painful right from the beginning. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and the good thing with you guys is that since you do that all year long, you know how to uh, uh, localize uh, a lot of recurring stuff that are coming back. Um, because um, uh, I, I, I've, I've seen yesterday again, I don't remember where it was, but uh, oh yeah, it was in an iPad app, by the way. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, it's uh, actually in, uh, um, I don't remember, um, Angry Words, exactly, localized in French. That was pretty awesome. Awesome, in, 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 by that I mean awesomely, uh, uh, wrongly translated uh, in French. Mm -hmm. And for, for a native speaker like me in French, seeing a bad translation, and I guess same thing for you with, with German, for example, is actually, it's like a knife in the heart. <laughs> it's like, well, the French oh! people are very special in that regard anyway, aren't they? Well, they are. I have to mention I'm not a French people, by the way. Okay. <laughs> I'm a French-speaking yeah. people, which is not the same. <laughs> yeah. That's yeah, true. because um, I think people put very much into uh, very much effort into their their application, into their code, and in the design, um, in graphics, and yeah. So so when 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 then rushing localization at a very late stage or or not 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 let's say um, putting much focus on quality work. Mm -hmm. You have an inconsistent application. It has very beautiful graphics. It yeah. looks like like a charm. It has it is very intuitive to use, and then then you have bad translation on it. This mm -hmm. is this is just a deal breaker for very many people. Yeah, out, it basically out. spoils the design at all because yeah. design can be as beautiful um, as as ever, but. If the user doesn't understand what the design wants to, to, to convey, it's just crap, you know? Yeah. I was going to say this is actually even worse if the, if the app in, uh, altogether, uh, besides localization, is awesome, if the design is awesome, yeah. uh, if the, the, the flow of the app is awesome, but then localization sucks. I mean, it's terrible. I mean, I, I'd rather see uh, an app which is generally, in every aspect, horrible. <laughs> Uh, because well, well, actually, you know, bad bad localization makes the app and the developer lose credibility. Yeah. Yes. That's the point. Totally. Yeah. And while well, speaking about very intuitive or and, and and very nicely crafted applications, is that um, and this is this is maybe a very good point to to further describe what our, our talk will be about. Um, you can you can have a very very nice application with nice design and nice concepts and whatever, but it is not always possible to use those concepts or to use specific views or, or mm -hmm. other stuff in in other languages than than you have developed the application. So this is one very very basic thing we do when having a close look or or an early look at at the at the resources in front, and um, yeah and. So some of the, 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 let's say, top 10 issues we run into when, when localizing applications will be in the talk, just, just like a do yeah. and don't for, for um, application design. And, and by the way, before we, we get to the, next, to, the, to the last question, I, I don't think I can emphasize enough that you guys only do iOS and macOS because um, there are some uh, uh, points which are very specific to the platform. To, to, to mention yes. only one, being, for example, um, the save box in, uh, in, in Mac OS X, it, it says uh, don't save or save. It doesn't say do you want to save yes or no. And I've right. seen too many times people coming from other platform or multi-platform apps that are just feeling so wrong in our world. Yeah, this is, well, I think every developer should have read or, or has already read the human interface guidelines. Um, Pretty bad though that the user interface guidelines they they also include um, do's and don'ts and tips and tricks 
for for um, for linguistic stuff like you have to write error messages this way or that way um, but the user interface guidelines provided by Apple are only available in English so um, so you always have to have a look at them and then think okay what's the concept behind this do and don't yeah. um, and apply that to specific languages and this is how sometimes very very complicated and this is why we only focus on Mac OS 10 and iOS because there's so much work right and left to the to the to the main localization process you have to keep up with the with the guidelines you have to keep up with interface changes uh, you have to keep up with paradigm shifts um, all the kind of stuff so that's why we only focus on it and and to emphasize this um, Oliver and I we are linguists we are um, graduated translators um, but we have been using the Mac for a very long time and then at, at, at some point we, we decided that we do not only want to work on the Mac but to work for the Mac or to work for, for developers because we have always complaining about stuff on, on other platforms and um, we have been using badly localized applications we thought okay why not actually working on it instead of just only working with it. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Um, uh, some people have already their tickets, some not. Uh, and I know you are probably the number one uh, uh, guys, uh, at least uh, Felix, to come by uh, in iChat every now and then and ask, oh, how many people, how many attendees do you have? Yes. So, um, so here's your time to motivate those guys that haven't yet their ticket to come over see your talks and all the other talks <laughs> and the networking part, which obviously is very important. Yeah, actually, um, you, you, you just mentioned it, the networking part, because... Um, I think um, watching watching session videos, um, for example, from WWDC or reading documentation, this is one part. But a, a very major part of conferences is, is socializing and networking, um, because it's always good to build up a, um, a kind of network of people you know and you've been talking to just like okay um, you're sitting here there and you have a problem with something or, or you need somebody to help you with certain stuff and then it's always good to know oh just like oh there there uh, there was a nice guy on that conference and I talked to him and had a coffee with him and and we've been talking about this so um, why not asking him for help or um, yeah just like it, it's always good to know people and even even in 2012, um, where we use iChat and conferencing systems and have WWDC videos just two weeks after after the conference, um, the part of actually meeting people in person and talking to them is 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 very important. So everybody who hasn't got a ticket yet is just like okay, just get one of the few last ones. Yeah. Just do it. It's 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 really worth it. Yeah, I hope. Yeah, you know, th there are so few conferences around uh, around here, you know, Central Europe and all this stuff. Yes. So, um, that's that, what, what Felix said, uh, the, the networking and getting to know people, meet people, and uh, having a nice chat and talk and sitting together drinking coffee or beer or whatever, non-alcoholic or alcoholic beverages. Um, it's basically the fun part and I had a look at the attendee list and guys, you know, there are some great people on the conference and Definitely. I'm really looking forward to uh, having uh, another chat with them and meeting them and uh, relaxing, joking yeah. and talking and all this stuff. So, yeah, don't miss out on that. You, you know, that's a very good point you bring that, Oli. Um, we always speak about speakers and about sessions and about work, networking, but the, the, the main part is attendees. If you look at the list, you will probably yeah. see some of your friends. And I was totally uh, amazed by some of the people there and some people I know from the Macoon or some people I know from the NS conference. And uh, I'm totally uh, super happy with, uh, with, with all the people that are coming and I'm hoping, actually I'm thinking about others that, are, that haven't joined yet, which I'm hoping to see them. And I'm also always hoping to uh, see some new faces and faces coming yeah. from... Yeah, exactly. Everywhere. You know, even, even if you don't know uh, that many people uh, around there, uh, still, you know, we, we, we won't bite and we're all friendly and, and happy to see new faces and uh, integrate them and talk to them and all this stuff. So all right. they should be afraid. You know, we're, we're all just, just people and, and guys and we're nice guys, all, all of us. So, yeah. yeah. It's an amazing community, it's a Coco community, so there is a reason yeah. why we stick there. 
Um, thank you guys for being with, uh, with me. Thank you for having us. Thank you very much. Um, it was a pleasure. See you in uh, September in Cologne. You have to go to, to come all the way down from the top uh, of, of Germany, up in the north you guys are, right? Yeah, exactly. Exactly, yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, have a nice day and uh, see you in Cologne. Thank you very Thanks much. So much. Bye. See you soon. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.